Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's lesson will show you how to save down or downgrade a Revit model to a previous version. This is not something you can do out of the box, but the trick today will let you achieve that. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Alright, back to the task at hand. I have on my screen now a Revit 2020 window and this one here for Revit 2021. Let's say you have a model in Revit 21 and you want to save it down to a previous version. Could be 18, 19 or 2020 in this case. Here's how to do it. Firstly, we need to be realistic about what can be transferred. Revit actually doesn't support backwards compatibility. That means it doesn't expect you to save a Revit file down to a previous version as you may have found out on your own. With the trick I'm showing today, you can save down a Revit file, but only its 3D geometry. Things like annotation, views, or sheets will not be preserved. But anyway, sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes you just need a building in 3D, because maybe someone on your team doesn't have the latest Revit version, and they just want to check the file out in Revit. This is how you can help them. So, we have the Revit 2021 project opened. Just go to a 3D view, maybe this one here. And the plan is we need to export this to an IFC file, which we can then import into Revit 2021 or earlier. IFC, if you haven't known about it, is short for Industry Foundation Class. It's a common file format that the building industry has created with the purpose of transferring data between different applications like Revit, Navisworks, AutoCAD, SketchUp, and so on. It's also used a lot in model federation applications such as Navisworks or Solibri. That's where people collect IFC files from different companies or professions and put them all together into one single model for things like glass detection or construction planning. Anyway, a little known use of the IFC file format is what we are showing today. We will use it to transfer data from this Revit version to this previous one. Apparently only 3D information, but these 3D objects, once transferred, will have most of their parameters and attributes preserved for you as well. For example, if I try to transfer this wall here, not just the wall geometry will come across, but also its properties like location line, face constraints, or even type properties in here. They will also be copied to this previous Revit version for you. That's really nice. Okay, let's start the transfer process. Step one, we have already done, which is open the model and open a view where you can see all the 3D objects you want to transfer. Step two, just go to file, choose export, and then choose IFC. You will see this window here, which is the export to IFC options window. On your computer, you may see something different. What I'm seeing here is the enhanced IFC exporter that Autodesk provide. It's not something you get with just the installation of Revit. It's an add-on that you have to put on top of Revit if you haven't done so. To make sure you get all the options available for IFC exporting, make sure you are using this enhanced exporter UI. In my case here, that's version 21.2.0. If your version is different, not the latest, or if you haven't got this at all, just go to a web browser and then type in Revit IFC and then your Revit version. In my case, that's 2021. The first link there should take you to the right place. This is the Autodesk App Store for their applications, including Revit. Up here, you have many apps or plugins for different purposes. I also have some quite useful apps that you may like. If you go up here, search for RV Boost, you will see these are our apps. So feel free to check them out. They may save you some time. Anyway, for today, let's focus on this one from Autodesk themselves, the IFC Enhanced Exporter for Revit 2021. This is a free add-in, so you can just download it from here. Of course, you have to log in with your Autodesk account. Let me just log in now quickly. So once you have logged in, this file should download automatically. If not, use the download button up there. Once the file is there and ready, you should close your Revit, in this case 2021, run the installer, let that finish, and then when you open Revit again, then do the export to IFC command, you should see the same window I'm having right now. Now, before we go ahead with the export, if you click on modify setup, 
you will see in here a lot of options to fine-tune your IFC export. Each one is important when you actually have to issue this model to IFC for maybe collaboration in your BIM team. But for today, because we are using this just as a way to transfer geometry to this previous Revit version there, the only options we have to pay attention to are these. Firstly, make sure you select the right face to export your elements. As you can see here, I have selected this wall. And under its properties, I can see it has been created on this face called Working Drawings. If you leave this as a default phase to export, Revit will try to export the latest phase in your project model, which can be different from what you need. So, to avoid confusion, make sure to go here and choose the correct phase for your elements, the phase on which they have been created. If there are elements created before this phase, as long as they haven't been demolished, they should be exported as well. Next thing to check out is the method you want to use for coordinates. Because we're going from Revit to Revit, make sure you go here now and select Shared Coordinates from this menu. Next one is whether you want to split walls, columns, and ducts by level. You can do so if you want. For me now, just for simplicity, I'll keep this one unticked. That's the first tab done. Let's go to the second one now. The important thing on this one is this. Whether you want to export only elements visible in the view. This is exactly why I told you to open a view before you do the uh, file export IFC command because here we can tick this box and tell the exporter to only include elements visible in this view here. Also, if you want to, you can also include rooms and areas as 3D objects that can come in handy in certain situations. For example, if you want to see those rooms and spaces in Navisworks or Celebrity. For our purpose today of moving from Revit to a previous version, this one is not that relevant. The top one is, however, this one here. So make sure to select it if you need to. We can now move on to the next step, property sets. Don't worry about those for now. Level of detail, we obviously want to have as much detail as possible. So feel free to choose high from this list. Here, however, there's a little point of caution. Because Revit at the moment has some certain internal limits to how much detail we can produce in a single IFC export. So if you go for a high level of detail and the export just freezes or hangs in the middle and never completes, you can go back here and choose maybe a lower level of detail and see if that succeeds. For now, I'm going to go for medium. Next step is advanced. The only option relevant to us today is this, whether you want to use the active view for creating geometry in the IFC. What does it mean? If I tick this box here and proceed with exporting from this view, this topography will be exported as cut because I have in here a section box that is cutting it. If I untick this box, it should export the topography as a whole with its original geometry. For now, I will keep this one unticked, but you might want to tick it in your case. So these are all the relevant options or settings we want to check. Let's now click OK to confirm this set of settings. And before exporting this, make sure you do browse and select where you want to save the file. For now, I will just copy this folder here to use it later when I import it. With all set and ready, I can now do export and I will produce for us the IFC version of this model in Revit 2021. So that is done. I can now switch to this previous Revit version. Click on this back arrow button choose File, Open, and then IFC. In here, I can simply just paste in the file path I copied from before. Make sure to choose File Type to be IFC, and that's the one we just created. Let's now do Open to convert this IFC now into a Revit model of this previous version. You can choose to either disable auto join of elements or line correction. But most of the time, these should work fine, so I will leave them ticked for now. And simply choose Open. Depending on the level of complexity in the original model, this may take a few minutes to uh, finish the conversion from IFC to RVT, so be patient. At least it's quicker than redrawing this whole project in this previous Revit version anyway. If you wonder where it has gone in the process, there's a little progress bar down here showing you the percentage of the operation that has been completed. Okay, so you may get a few errors messages like this one here. For example, I have multiple rooms in the same region. That's fine for now, I'll just accept it. For this task, the main purpose is to get the geometry across. So 
things like rooms and spaces, I can recreate later on if needed. So with that done, I can now go to 3D, turn on shaded, and see the result of the transfer. As you can see there, the topo doesn't do very well because it has been converted to a mesh, but maybe that's not one of the items you need anyway. Even if you do need it to be a real topo, you can always export this to a DWG, link it back in here, go to massing and site, and choose to create a new topo surface from that imported object. We may cover this in the next lesson. For now, let me just hide it so we can check on the other elements. So as we can see, these are actual Revit walls with their properties transferred across. You even get additional bonus properties like IFC GUID, if that's something you're after. There are missing elements like this wall here. Actually, it's not missing. It's there, but the geometry has gone a bit funny. But overall, you actually get most of the elements you need. Things like this funny wall here, maybe take a bit of time to remodel, but still a lot less painful than doing everything again yourself. Some walls, they don't stay in the same geometric form like in the original model. But again, this may be quick to fix. I will, however, close this file down. And then open the same IFC one more time. This time I will untick auto join elements and correct lines. Because sometimes if you find that things in your open IFC has changed, like that single funny wall over there that appears transparent, unticking these two boxes could be the solution. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, that is done now. Again, same error. We can dismiss this term and go to 3D, see if it's any better. Yeah, it's still the same in this case. We are still getting this funny hollow wall for some reasons. But I found from experience that sometimes by unticking those auto join and correcting lines options, some elements in your transfers file may become a bit closer to their original appearance. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe now. For now, use this trick to transfer Revit models to a previous versions and save yourself countless hours modeling stuff again from scratch. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next lesson.